Hey everyone, today I'd like to do a different kind of video. I've done these before, but I think especially this time of year when many of us are looking back and giving thanks to all the things we have in our life, I'd like to pay it forward and give thanks to the people who brighten my day, even if it's for five, 10, or 15 minute segments on YouTube. I'm talking about some of the other YouTubers that I like to watch uh, myself, that I am subscribed to. Now I've done a video, um, little bit ago about my favorite makeup artists on YouTube. These people, some of them are actually makeup artists, but more importantly, they're just other YouTubers making videos that make me smile, make me want to watch every time a new video of theirs comes on. They teach me something. There's just something about these people that I really enjoy. And I don't want to get too in depth. I really want you to just go check out every single person that I mention and maybe subscribe to all of them or maybe just a few. But I really think that every single person I'm about to mention, if you're not already subscribed to, you will enjoy them. So um, some of these people have huge followings and don't really need much of an introduction. Some people are brand new to YouTube. I'm just going to jump in here and start with a big one. Michelle 1218. Um, I would have to be completely honest and say that Michelle and I are friends, I consider us friends in real life, so I'm a little bit biased here, but I started watching her, one of the very first people I started watching when I started on YouTube, and I can't even remember how I found her, but she's young, but she's got an old soul. She's, um, she's got a good head on her shoulder. She's a smart, smart woman and I love her sense of style, I love her choices for makeup, I love her sense of humor, I enjoy hearing about her life, I love her dog, and I just enjoy, I feel like I'm sitting down with a girlfriend when I'm watching her videos. So please check out Michelle1218 if you haven't already, I would be shocked, but if you haven't then you definitely need to add her to your list. The next one is Leanne says, she just makes me giggle every time. This is a girl who knows how to have a good time. She knows how to laugh at herself. Her bloopers are probably some of the best parts of her videos. She's one of the first people I noticed that actually included her blo their bloopers at the end of her videos and really makes you sit through the whole thing till the end. Now, of course, the content before the bloopers is really good too. Most of the products that she talks about are drugstore products and of course, gotta give a shout out to a fellow Texan. So, love Leanne. She's awesome. Um, Okay, going to the other side of the ocean for this one. Um, I really enjoy watching A Model Recommends. Her name is Ruth, uh, Ruth Crilly. She's, you can find her in a lot of places. She hangs out with Pixie Woo and she's on Daily Mix and she has a couple other shows on that channel. But her main channel, A Model Recommends, and her secondary channel, Model Recommends Scrapbook, are very insightful because she is a working model. She knows the business. So when she recommends something, you know it's good. It's usually expensive, but you know that it's gonna be good. And of course, there's just something about her voice and her dry sense of humor that I just love. So check out Ruth. Another one, I got a lot of flack for not mentioning him for my favorite makeup artist things, or my favorite makeup artists. But um, I watch Wayne, or Goss Makeup Artist, more because of his personality. Yes, he gives great tips and he does great, real short, real to the point makeup um, reviews, but I love watching Wayne just to see Wayne. First of all, he's incredibly easy on the eyes. I mean, that always helps, right? If you got to stare at something, it should be pretty, but he's just so funny and he's such a good, he's just a, there's an old saying, he's a good egg. He's, he's a guy I would want to be in my life. He seems like he would give you the shirt off his back. He's, Probably, and I've never met him, I don't know him in real life, but he seems like the kindest, warmest, sweetest person in the world, and he just puts so much love out there, and I adore him, and I adore watching him, and you know, it helps that he's obviously brilliant at what he does as well. So if you want great makeup tips, I highly recommend watching him, but he's just one of those people that, he's, he's like, he's, he's just, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. Okay. Totally on the other side of the spectrum, someone relatively new to YouTube who I have immediately just love. Um, Elle, Elle is for living. She does makeup tips and kind of some lifestyle things. She's kind of all, all encompassing. And she is a grown up woman. She is not a 20 something. And for those of us that will never see our 20s again, that are 20 years past our 20, 20s. It's a, a breath of uh, fresh air to see someone closer to my age on YouTube. And she also is easy on the eyes, but she's really smart. And I think that's sort of the underlying theme here. Is I enjoy watching intelligent people. You can tell um, when they know how to turn a phrase, they know what they're talking about. And uh, she has some amazingly good tips. 
from anywhere from how to highlight to how to whiten your teeth and in a, like a three minute video. I don't know how she does it. She's, I love her and her voice is soothing and you just wanna sit down with a cup of tea and just soak in the wisdom. So go check out Ella's for Living. Another uh, person that does not need much of an introduction, I'm sure every one of you are subscribed to her, but um, I have to put a shout out to Lisa SZ09, and don't worry, all their names will be linked below. She is a very conscientious reviewer of makeup products. She does tutorials from time to time, but really her bailiwick is her reviews, and she takes it very seriously. She puts a lot of thought into her reviews, and, and she knows what she's talking about. So. If Lisa likes it, you should buy it. And um, if she doesn't like it, skip it. Uh, I really, really enjoy, I've really enjoyed watching her. I've really enjoyed watching her as she's become a mother and sort of evolved, but really very professional on top of her game. Love, Lisa. Okay, another one that is, she's a megastar, she's a superstar, and one day she will be on national television. Um, Emily Noel, 83, Emily Eddington. She is, I mean, do I need to say anything really? She's amazing. She. Like, she's my idol. I'm probably old enough to be her, well, either her teenage mother or an auntie, but um, she is someone that I look up to who could mentor all of us on YouTube. She is incredibly professional. Uh, her production quality videos are just outstanding. The content is amazing. But she's not standoffish. I mean, I feel like, I know her, I've never met her in my life, but I feel like... Um, I, the, she's she's warm. She's kind. She's genuine. She's um, she's a girl's girl. She knows how to have a good time. But I mean, I just she's like she's like a young Oprah. Just watch. Keep an eye on Emily Noel, eighty three. She's she's going somewhere. Um, my next one. I love her. I I would love to hang out with all of these people, but I would really like to hang out with Crazy Miss Tammy from Uppies Beads, fifty nine. She is another um, grown-up lady here on YouTube, and she is stunningly beautiful. I know she's going to feel embarrassed when I say that, but I watch her. Every time I watch one of her videos, I just stare. Sometimes I don't even know what she's talking about because I'm just looking at her going, how does she look like that? She's 50-something. 50, 50 she's 50-something. If I woke up tomorrow and looked like Tammy, I would be in heaven. Her hair is to die for her skin. She's very much into health and natural beauty, not looking natural. No, wait, how do I put this? Using more natural products for beauty. Um, she's into masks and skincare. Those are her big things. She's a fellow Zoya Polish fan. She's got, uh, her background is in hair. She does smoothie videos on how to make smoothies, you know, in a blender to drink. Um, uh, she's just, and she's such an inspiration. She's such a wonderful person. Um, I just, now, her videos are not short, so if you don't like 30 minute videos, she's not for you, but I think you should still go check her out because you can always hit pause, go do something else, and come back later, right? I mean, you don't have to sit still for 30 minutes. I highly recommend getting a dose of Crazy Miss Tammy, as she likes to call herself. Uh, the next two, the next one is sort of newish, new to me, and um, they're a best friend duo, and they're. Um, YouTube name is Her Late Night Cravings. I just like watching the on-screen chemistry between these two. They're having a good time, and their product recommendations are fabulous. I'm a recent subscriber, so I can't go on and on and on about them, but um, it's just fun to see two women together not tearing each other down, but actually doing something positive together. I really enjoy them. So check out Her Late Night Cravings. Another one that doesn't put up as many videos as I'd like, but maybe with all of us pushing her a little, she will work on that. It is Cami from uh, Blushing Foreigner, and again, she's one of those women who are, she's incredibly intelligent, and she's a Californian living in Denmark. She's married uh, to a Danish man, and uh, her videos on living abroad are very intriguing, and her makeup and fashion are kind of different from me, but I like watching her. In fact, she had on a really cute uh, sequin sweatshirt in one of her videos that I promptly ordered and is now one of my favorite things that I have for the fall. Anyway, I love watching her. She's so smart. I love listening to her speak. Her vocabulary is wonderful. And especially when you think about most of the day, she's probably not even using English. She's probably speaking Danish, I guess. Is that, that's what they speak. Okay, so, so much for intelligent sounding people here on my screen. Next one, again, huge following, huge amount of subscribers, but I love watching Wendy Bentley or Bentley Blonde, who is not actually blonde at the moment. Um, 
I love a sassy, sarcastic girl, and Wendy definitely fits that category. She's also a fellow dog lover, so gotta love her for that. Her, her um, reviews are great, but with what is my favorite part about her channel are her crap videos. Her I can't remember her crap products or she just, the word crap is in there, and she just trashes the heck. If she don't like it, she's not gonna hold back. She will let you know, and she just. If you could get her and Leanne says together in a room, it would be magic. I, I love Wendy. She's, she's just she's so funny. And now I enjoy watching. She built a new house with her husband and the home decorating is kind of kicking in and so it's fun to watch that too. But love watching her favorites and her crap products and love Wendy. Okay, another one that doesn't post on YouTube as much as I would like, but um, she is... I, there's so many people here I'd really like to meet in person. One of those who I think actually might get around to final, to doing it one of these days is Lana Indiana. For those of you that don't know Lana, she lives in Indiana, at least part of the year. Sometimes she's in Florida. And uh, she's also a um, slightly older than the average, no, she's not old, but she's older than 20, um, which seems to be the median age here on YouTube. And she's another just absolutely stunning woman. And I'm sorry, but when I see a beautiful older woman, I am much more impressed than a pretty 25 year old because when you have youth, it's easy to be pretty. But when you're 50 something years old and people stop and look at you when you walk in a room, I wanna know how you did that. So her beauty tips are amazing. Her life story is amazing. She is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person. I found out about her, I remember this, because Wayne Goss did a shout out and I went immediately and checked her out and just fell in love. And uh, she's just a beautiful soul, beautiful inside and out, and I love watching her. And uh, I wish she would film more, Lana. But um, check out Lana. Then a couple more, um, Lo Bosworth. Lo Bosworth. Uh, she's new, I believe she's part of the Style Hall family. And um, you may recognize her from being in television, but it's because of that that I like watching her. She's very simple, easy style. She has very beautiful, short, professionally edited videos. And because she's been in the industry, she has some definite insight into products that work and don't work. And she shares a lot of those tips that she's picked up along the way with her viewers. So I really enjoy watching her. She's a relatively new channel, but has exploded in growth. So she doesn't need my help. Uh, last two, Natalie075 is another one of those stunning women that I want to know her beauty secrets. I want to know how, how do you look like that? Do you, do you, what did, what, what do you do? And she'll tell you. And her hair is gorgeous. She has some beautiful silver hair that sometimes she wears in this beautiful smooth, it's just, it's just perfect. And then other times she wears a curly and it's gorgeous. And like, I dream to have just perfect straight silver hair one day. Who knows? I guess anything's possible with a good colorist. But um, again, her voice is like butter. It's just warm and soothing and calming and somebody you just want to hang out with and stare at. And I really enjoy watching Natalie. And she is wickedly funny too. So um, I really like watching Natalie. And then the last one is um, I'm a new, she is new to me, she's new to YouTube, but she's not new to fashion and beauty. Erin um, at Busby Style, she and I recently kind of hooked up through YouTube and Twitter and um, she's here based in San Antonio, but she has been in New York. She was a, a producer for CBS. She's been in the fashion, news, beauty industry for a very long time. This is a woman who knows a lot about what she is, about what she is talking and another um, very professional, very smart woman. And her, she's new to YouTube. She's done a lot of other things. That she's, she's a blogger as well, and she's done a lot of other things in the industry, but just recently starting to make some of her own YouTube videos. And she packs in a lot in a two minute video. So I highly recommend more on the fashion side of things, just little tidbits that as a stylist, she takes for granted that I'm going, oh, that's how you do that. I didn't think of that. So. I really like Erin. I'm excited that she is making videos. I've had the pleasure of meeting her in real life and she is a wonderful person in person as well as on YouTube. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with her channel. So those are just a few of my favorite YouTubers to watch who are not necessarily makeup artists but are all generally in the beauty style area of YouTube. And um, they have just, you know, I enjoy making videos but I'm much a much bigger fan and I love watching videos and so those are the people that when I see a, a new a new video in my inbox from them I am all over that maybe you can check a few of them out if I have not mentioned one of your favorites and you think I need to add them to my list please let me know I'm always looking for somebody new to enjoy and um, 
Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.